Right guys, Peter Finch here, and a slightly different video today. I was curious over this weekend, so I did a little bit of experimentation. Now, what I was curious about was shaft length, uh, specifically within a driver, and to see whether shortening down the shaft length would improve anything or change anything. Now, this is in response to a couple of things. First of all, just like I said, personal curiosity, but also quite a lot of questions in and around this subject. So on Saturday afternoon, had a little bit of a gap at the end of the day after coaching. So what I decided to do was take the Ping G400 and swap around the three wood shaft that we had into the driver head. Now the reason that I chose the G400 was because that was the shaft that changed over the easiest. Now within the driving range bays we have all different types of clubs to actually use however that was the easiest transfer. Some of the clubs like the Mizuno drivers which I was interested in also doing this with they had a completely different sleeve on the three woods and the fairways in comparison to what they were putting into their drivers. So there was that slight limitation however with the G400 driver it's a cracking club and I kind of thought that if I was going to use a club to experiment with I would have been inclined to pick that G400 anyway. Now the switching driver shaft length actually reduced the overall length of the club from 45 and 3 quarter inches which is the standard G400 shaft and club length to 43 inches. There wasn't a like for like driver to shaft ratio switch it wasn't the same shaft that was in the three wood and the driver. They were both X flex, they were both ping stock shafts, one of them a slightly newer version. But the biggest difference, apart from the overall length, was the weight. So the three wood shaft was 10 grams heavier overall than the driver shaft. So it was 66 grams within the driver and it was 76 grams in the three wood. Now I see this test as being very much a first stage. So I want to test this at the driving range at the Quest Golf Academy and then actually take it out to the course. And I was actually planning to do a little bit of that today unfortunately the weather again here is worked against us uh, I'll include a clip of my drive home from the driving range yeah so lovely so hopefully I'll be able to get out on the course and test a version of what I did in the driving range I'll let you into that in a second but what I did is at the Quest Golf Academy in the simulator so I could come down to just two layers and you know feeling brave in March in the UK, I was able to actually swing quite freely and using the quad, I was able to collect the data. So this is driving range data. This is not on course testing. And whenever you're trying out a new club, if at all possible, you should always try and test it in both environments. So what I did is I tested out the two different drivers, well, same driver, different lengths, on the quad, 10 shots each, just so I could get a good average. I didn't take any shots out at all. So this is the raw data of 10 shots each, one after the other, without making any alterations to the data at all. So here is the test, here's what I did, and let's have a little bit of a look.
you might have got a little bit of an inkling as to what was happening when I was testing these drivers out. So the first thing to say is direction-wise, dispersion-wise, when I thought I would see a difference, I did see a difference. So you can see here, this is a direct comparison of the dispersion between the two drivers. So the top image here, this is the G400 with its regular length shaft. And you can see here the dispersion on the shorter length shaft, very, very tight. Even the miss strikes, so the slightly heel strikes, which I was tending to see with the shorter shaft for whatever reason, actually direction wise, they were much more consistent overall. What did surprise me, and even though I had an inkling this might happen, my swing speed did not decrease. So let's have a little bit of a look through these averages here. So this was with the shortened driver length. Um, my ball speed averaging at 156, which isn't too bad. Launch angle at 14. Um, the backspin, which I kind of figured would be a slight issue with the G400 anyway. So bear in mind that I'm a relatively high spinner of the ball with my driver. Um, I think the best head to actually test this in in hindsight would have been the LS Tech version of the G400. And that's what I actually might do on the course when I test this, just switch it into that LS Tech to see if there is a bit of a difference. But on average, my backspin there was 2.7 and I'd want to take a good four or 500 revs of backspin off that just to optimize launch conditions. Um, but you can see here, carry distance averaging out at just under 270 and total distance at 286. My longest drive there was 305 and my shortest drive was 276? 276. You can see here with my club data, average swing speed at 111, and it was pretty consistent really. I had one at 108, and that was my very first swing. And then I got into my little bit of a groove, and it was normally around 110 or 111. Angles of attack all up, again, very consistent, 3.7. Uh, efficiency was okay, 1.4 as far as smash factor goes. Um, 1.41 one on average, obviously it could do with being the highest, highest possible on that. Um, but pretty much everything there was very, very, very consistent. And the dispersion on these drivers was very good. It was very tight. Now we move this over to the G400 with the standard length. And you can actually see here my ball speed on average dipped. So it went down to 155. Now at the same time as that, my actual efficiency, my smash factor, that didn't really go down at all. My backspin was pretty much the same on average. So that didn't really alter. And nothing really much altered at all. You can see average carry distance, 269, compared to 286 total distance, which was exactly the same as the shortened driver. Club data wise, you can see my swing speed actually was slightly, slightly slower on average than the shorter driver with the longer driver. It was 110.5 versus 111.1, so really not much difference. We could say that we're swinging very, very similar as far as that's concerned. Um, and then my lofts were very similar as well as far as what my delivered loft was. So with this data, there's definitely more experimentation that needs to be done. Now that is for sure. So swapping in different shafts, swapping in different heads as well. I certainly think the LS Tech version version of the G400 generally would be better for me anyway. But looking at those results, I would say it's going to be poor. I was expecting to have a little bit more distance from the longer shaft, I must admit. But yeah, I was very surprised at that. Other notes on this, I felt more comfortable with that shorter shaft, which might not be a massive surprise. I think when people have tried to shorten driver shafts in the past, generally they do feel a little bit more comfortable. Now, whether that contributed to the fact that my swing speeds were the same, so there's no real way of telling this, but certainly from an attitude point of view, I was a little bit maybe more excited to actually try out the shorter club, if that makes sense. So there is that human element that you do need to include into the data. But overall, the data is showing that between these two clubs, there is really no difference apart from the fact that it was more accurate. So I'm going to try and get that LS Tech version headed in that shaft and then see what it's like on the course. But guys would love to know what you think. Please comment below. Have you tried this type of thing before? Swapping in driver shafts into three wood shafts, three wood shafts into driver shafts, different length shafts. Shaft, 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 shaft. I'm sure you get what I mean. Uh, but there is more experimentation which needs to be done. So guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Please comment below. Let me know what you think about this video. Uh, like the video, share it around. Please follow me on my other social media as well, which is all linked in the description below. And we'll see you down here next time and maybe on the next course vlog with a shortened new driver. Maybe. <laughs>